Hello everyone, my name is Przemek Chojecki and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this episode I will tell you about the differences between different couple of data science uh, jobs uh, because you can see a lot of them on the market and let's see what that means. So being a data scientist can mean a plethora of things starting from cleaning data to building really complex deep learning models and everything in between. Uh, so basically what you can see on the market is that uh, you can see either a data scientist, data analyst, uh, data researcher, machine learning engineer, uh, deep learning engineer and probably a couple of twists on those. So first of all, data scientist can mean anything of those. Uh, it can either mean that you'll be cleaning data, trying to extract some statistical insights from the data you're given and you're given pretty dirty data. Then it can mean that the data is already pretty good and cleaned, but you need to get to more machine learning methods in order to extract the information. But it's still not about being a researcher for yourself and trying to invent uh, new algorithms which you can apply on those data. And finally, uh, the, the final stage is you're building your own, own algorithms, you're trying to apply those to data at hand. So that's what, uh, what machine learning engineer is all about. But then, of course, you have all the differences in uh, what kind of data you have, whether it's clean or not, what kind of language you're using, because even though Python is the most common used for all the deep learning, machine learning stuff. You can use as well things like SQL, Oracle, some, some predefined tools by Microsoft or other companies uh, where actually where you're trying to just clean the data and get the insights through already, already in existence tools and you won't, be able, you won't program that much by yourself. So th that's more what data analysis is about. Uh, so, for example, there are a lot of positions in banks where they won't expect from you any kind of more advanced machine learning. They will expect to you that you can just crunch thousands and thousands of the client's databases and basically get, get, off, get from that useful insights. The same goes with marketing. Uh, most of the time, because there are, of course, like much more involved marketing, for example, if you're working at Google with AdSense, then there, there's much more going on with that. Uh, so there's data analyst job. And then if you pass along, then you probably get into machine learning and building your own models. Uh, and depending on where you want to go, uh, you can also start building your own deep learning models. Uh, so this is basically what I wanted to say here. It's all about the description of a job. You should really look at what kind of company you're applying to, what kind is written, what kind of uh, description is there, uh, what kind of task you will be given, and that's also the question you should ask first. Uh, and basically starting from that, and basically starting uh, with your experience, you should try to find something suitable for you. Because even if you're just a junior and you're just starting with data science, you can have a couple of uh, entry-level jobs, both as a data analyst and both as a junior machine learning engineer. Uh, depending on your background. So most, uh, this is the, the last point I wanted to make, if you have no prior knowledge of uh, mathematics, statistics, physics, computer science, then probably you will be entering data analyst job and you will be learning all the statistics along the way. But if you already have a master's degree in mathematics or computer science, then you'll probably be going for a junior machine learning engineer, which will mean that all from the, the from already from the start you're just jumping into building machine learning models uh, but it all depends on you there are like plethora of choices on the market and uh, you can find and investigate those by looking at different websites which offer jobs and find something suitable for you so good luck with that please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next episode thank you